Hey folks, BQ here with the Impact Lounge. I haven't dropped a whole lot of content recently. Uh, a lot of you guys know I was pretty sick for a little bit. Uh, I had the cough from hell. That thing just would not go away. Uh, it was very difficult for me to speak more than uh, a couple sentences, but uh, now I'm feeling good. It's a beautiful day out. And I want to talk to Call Your Shot Gauntlet Trophy. Does this now, does the trophy mean something now? Does it officially mean something? Now, depending how long you've been listening to me, you know, if you go back a couple years ago, Eddie Edwards wins this thing. And, uh, you know, I I've said this has the opportunity to be, and it's never going to be that, but it has the opportunity to kind of be the the uh, Money in the Bank briefcase for Impact. So I think they're, they've been looking for something like that for a while to cause some, I mean, you know, to bring us some intrigue. And uh, Eddie Edwards was the first winner. He was clearly going to win that match. I mean, there was no, there wasn't even a doubt in anyone's mind. I don't think that he was, he was going to lose it. You know, he he won. Everyone knew he was going to win. So he wins the trophy. He's carrying it around. You know, and then there's this weird feud with Michael Elgin where they just keep wrestling, and then they do a best of seven, and they kind of inferred that he was that when they did this best of seven that it was for the trophy but they didn't really they didn't really come out and say you know the graphics never said oh for the call your shot gauntlet nothing like that so the whole year is going on and there was only one instance where eddie edwards is like i, th I forgot what pay-per-view i guess it was hard to kill or something like that he was like i'm gonna call my sh and then he gets cut off by michael elgin i think he might have attacked him or something like that but that was the only chance, the only time you ever heard Eddie saying, hey, I'm calling my shot. And, uh, you know, you can never make a first impression. What, what's, the, what's the, you only have one chance to make a first impression. That's what it is, right? And, you, and, and I say this all the time. You can only do a first time match once, a first time angle once. You know what I mean? Like there's, there's just one time to pull this kind of shit off. And it has to, it has to hit, it has to click, it has to be big. And Eddie Edwards won this thing, and it wasn't good. Like, you know, the whole year I was just like, what does that trophy mean? You know, he didn't really call his shot. And then ultimately he just got placed in a five-way match at Slammiversary. Like, that was his, was that his, is that how you're going to call your shot? You know, is that, did, did he even call his shot? Like, is that how it worked out? We, like, it was a complete mess. So year two rolls around, and, um, you know, I kept saying, like, when, when they announced this match, like it's probably going to mean nothing for the winner because it meant nothing last time. And for the second year in a row, the person who draws number one wins the match. And then they try, you know, um, I forgot how many people were in it, 20 maybe? Uh, you know, the person who drew the last number the first year was Shira, the second was Hernandez, and they, you know, Hernandez eliminated himself. So they've already established you know, if you're the, if you draw the last number, that means nothing. They've established, like, if you draw the first number, you're probably going to win the match. Now, granted, Heath was supposed to win the match. He got hurt. Thank God that they made the stipulation that him or Rhino had to win to save his job. Uh, they got really lucky with that one. But Rhino ended up winning. And Rhino did say, I'm going to call my shot for the tag team titles, me and Heath. Heath gets hurt. And many months pass. And Rhino's sometimes carrying this trophy around sometimes he's not and finally he cashes in um, and I liked the way that they did it uh, the way you know Finjuice had the match Finjuice looked horrible in this <laughs> it's and you know I think it was the last match or the last uh, day in the set of taping so maybe we're just not going to see Finjuice again um, and you know they had to drop the titles the real losers of that were Madman Fulton and Ace Austin but that's neither here nor there I like the way that they came down and, you know, Matt Stryker and D'Lo really painted that picture. Well, Finjuice don't wrestle for Impact Wrestling. They don't know what's going on. They don't know what the Call Your Shot Gauntlet trophy is. Hell, we don't even know what it is. We don't even know the rules. You know what I'm saying? Um, no one, <laughs> no one did. And, you know, Eric Young presents the trophy. They have the match. Rhino and Joe Doring win. Um, I, I don't think anyone's uh, tuning in to see those guys as the tag team champions necessarily, but... They could be interesting tag team champions in this really bad division that they got going on right now. And um, I'm, I'm curious to see what they do as champions. I don't know if Finjuice is going to be at the pay-per-view or not. 
Uh, maybe they're transitional champions. Maybe maybe Impact's like, oh, we got this other team from Japan or this team from AEW that's going to come win our titles. Who, who really knows? But I think it was a good win. And I, But again, I like the way it was done, the way it came off. It wasn't like a, you know running down with the briefcase type of thing. It was, it was a little different, but same general concept. So does this, call, does this trophy mean something now? I hope so. So I think it's going to be more interesting when Bound for Glory comes around this time. Because when they promote this match, they can say, hey, Rhino and Joe Doring cashed in and they won. I don't, they're probably going to use the cash in, you know, uh, phrase. But they uh, they called their shot. That's what it was. They called their shot and they won the tag team titles. And now it can mean something when Bound for Glory rolls around this time. Because when this uh, last match came about, for the trophy like they couldn't reference anything that it the storyline was so bad with eddie edwards in that in that trophy they, they couldn't be like hey look what eddie edwards did with it like what the fuck did he do with it absolutely nothing you know it was a prop so maybe it means something now i hope it does impact wrestling uh but good job with uh rhino and joe during winning the titles we'll see where it goes i'm your boy bq i'm out peace